Hi, it's Celine here, and I'm going to read one of my favorite parts of this book, Private Peaceful by Michael Morpurko. One minute to six. I try to close my mind to what is happening this minute to Charlie. I try to just think of Charlie as he was at home, as we all were. But all I can see in my mind are the soldiers leading Charlie out into the field. He is not stumbling. He is not struggling. He is not crying out. He is walking with his head held high, just as he was after Mr. Munnings came to him at school that day. Maybe there's a lark rising or a great crow wheeling into the wind above him. The firing squad stands at ease, waiting. Six men, their rifles loaded and ready, each one wanting only to get it over with. They will be shooting one of their own, and it feels to them like murder. They try not to look at Charlie's face. Charlie is tied to the post. The Padre says a prayer makes a sign of the cross on his forehead and moves away. It is cold now, but Charlie does not shiver. The officer, his revolver drawn, is looking at his watch. They try to put a hood over Charlie's head, but he will not have it. He looks up to the sky and sends his last living thoughts back home. Present, ready, aim. He closes his eyes and as he waits, he sings softly. Oranges and lemons, say the bells of St. Clements. Under my breath, I sing it with him. I hear the echoing volley. It is done. It is over. With that volley, a part of me has died with him. I turn back to the solitude of my hay barn, and I find I am far from home in my grieving. All over the camp, I see them standing to attention outside their tents and the birds are singing. So that was one of my favorite parts of Private Peaceful and I love reading stories. And what I love most is collecting stories from you guys. I would love to hear many of your amazing experiences, funny experiences, or even sad experiences. You can just send a message to me and I will look carefully at them and maybe you'll be in my masterpiece. Bye.